Create a custom group based on the product category's hierarchy. Create a group that shows all members that are in the accessories, bikes, or clothing categories and the men's or women's styles. Start by defining a name for the new group. Note that typed values are entered for you in this tutorial. Choose the hierarchy on which you will base your selection. Next, choose your selection method. Using the search definition selection method, you can define a dynamic set of members based on a search term. Using the condition definition selection method, you can define a dynamic set of members based on conditions, such as members that fall within a certain numerical range for a specific measure. You can combine multiple conditions using AND or OR operators. The default selection method, Individual, allows you to specify members by searching for them by name or navigating the hierarchy and manually selecting the desired members. Select the appropriate members in the category hierarchy. The Select Everything option enables you to select the entire hierarchy. Note that the buttons to add the rule and create the new group are both disabled. This is because you cannot add a rule to a group if the entire hierarchy is selected as the entire hierarchy is already selected by default in the main analysis. You can add multiple rules to a group. For Microsoft SSAS data sources, once you add the second rule, an icon appears to indicate how the two rules relate to each other. By default, the rules are joined by set intersection, which means that the group includes all members from the first hierarchy that also belong to the second hierarchy. Finish creating the group and review the results. Note that the new group has been added to the crosstab. You can view the analysis in more detail by opening the group in a second crosstab. You can edit or delete the group from the data pane. Edit the custom group to change how the two rules interact with each other. Joining the rules using set complement means that the group includes only members from the first hierarchy that do not belong to the second hierarchy. Note how the values have changed. You have successfully created a custom grouping for Microsoft SSAS or Oracle S-based data sources. This is the end of the tutorial.